Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five data analyst interview questions. But before we do, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com, where we brought in nearly 100 different professional interviewers to create all of our interview questions and answer examples. So in this video, we will dive into what I believe are our five best data analyst interview questions with the answer examples. Let's get started. Question number one, think of a project where you were working with a relatively large data set. Describe to me the process you had to take to gather and prepare the data for analysis. Working with large data sets can present some challenges, so hiring managers want to know that you have the experience to handle them if they arise. Share any challenges you might have faced and how you successfully overcame them. If you have been fortunate enough not to face any challenges, stick to the details of your project and the steps you took while working with the data. Here's an answer example from our website. I have had experience working with large data sets delivered to us from outside vendors. Many times these data sets were survey responses for marketing research projects with a large sample size. Upon first receiving the data set, I checked the validity of the data by running predetermined frequencies and queries. Doing so would often reveal such issues as missing data, data type issues, and errors and skip patterns within the survey. I would work with the vendor to correct these issues before beginning further analysis on the data. Once the data issues were resolved, I would load the data into a data analysis tool to begin my analysis. Sometimes I would work with a data engineer to load it into an appropriate tool that could handle the size of the data set. Question number two. Describe to me an analysis project you have worked on where the results were the most surprising to you and or those involved in the project. When launching an analysis, most analysts have a prediction on the outcome based on learnings from past projects. However, there will likely be times when the results were unexpected. Your answer to this question will give the interviewer a glimpse of not only the type of analytical projects you have worked on, but also your enthusiasm for them. When describing your project, be sure to show some passion about the learnings you drew from it. Also consider including what action was taken by you and or the stakeholders as a result of the unexpected results. In my experience, working with customer profiling projects, analysis usually do not show notably surprising results, particularly for established brands. However, while conducting one routine analysis, I was able to identify a customer subsegment that had the potential to provide additional value to the company if it was offered the right product and services with a relevant message. For me, it felt as if I struck gold, the opportunity to add value to a subset of an existing customer base through new products and services was invaluable. It was surprising to everyone involved that we could identify a subsegment from this customer base. From there, we began strategizing with product development and brand managers to develop a plan for this new subsegment. Question number three Talk about your knowledge of statistics and how you have used this knowledge in your analytical projects. At the minimum, data analysts should have knowledge and experience using basic statistics including mean, median, and mode, and be able to conduct significance testing. A more advanced level of statistics may be required, but this would be specified in the job description. Data analysts should not only know how to calculate these basic statistics, but should be able to interpret them in relation to the business. I use statistics on a regular basis as a data analyst. For the majority of my work, I calculate basic statistics such as the mean and standard variances. I also conduct significance testing frequently to determine if measurement differences between two populations is statistically significant and worth highlighting for further investigation. In addition, for a few projects, I've worked with correlation coefficients to determine the relationship between two variables in a data set. Question number four, why do you think creativity is a good skill for a data analyst to have and how have you used it in your career? When considering data analyst skills, creativity is not top of mind for many. Instead, plenty of people would consider technical and math or statistical skills to be at the top of the list. However, data analysts use their creativity in a variety of ways, including developing analytical plans, finding solutions to data issues, and presenting data visually. Creativity is about thinking outside the box. Be prepared to share in more detail how you use your creativity for a specific project. As a data analyst, there's no question that creativity is an important skill to have. 
creativity is what has gotten me past the data roadblocks in past projects. It has also helped me find new and interesting ways to present analytical results to clients. More specifically, I find that creativity is important when validating data before analyzing it. There have been a few times when I began analyzing data only to find there were some abnormal results. I stepped back and created new and non-routine data checks in order to identify issues causing the atypical results. Question number five. Describe a project where you use both quantitative and qualitative data to conduct your analysis. Data analysts should use all the data available to them to conduct the most impactful analysis. This could include both quantitative and qualitative data. The hiring manager wants to know how much experience you have marrying qualitative to quantitative data. Sometimes it is straightforward, as is the case when working with survey data that has both qualitative and quantitative questions. Other times it may take some creativity to find applicable qualitative data to use in conjunction with your quantitative data. If you have several projects to choose from, share about the project where you use the most creativity in merging the two types of data. If possible, I always try to incorporate qualitative data to support what the quantitative data is telling me. I've been fortunate enough to have conducted several analysis where qualitative survey data was readily available to me. However, when working with survey data, I don't think you should limit yourself to the qualitative data from one survey. When appropriate, I have found that there can be valuable qualitative data from other surveys or external sources. For one particular marketing analysis dealing with a new product evaluation, I reached out to the operations department to utilize qualitative data they had collected from distributors. Using this qualitative data strengthened the validity of my recommendations to the product development group. Thank you for watching. If you want more interview practice, head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.